Welcome to High Performance, the podcast featuring Josh Vegan and Alexander Phillips. Alexander, today we're going to talk about a pretty exciting topic and one that I both know that you and I are pretty passionate about is about how we really help new agents um, become emerging agents and get them to really build into you know, really strong and solid careers. What are some of the things that you're seeing in people that are going from zero to hero you know, inside of estate agencies and what they're doing to really break through? I think it's one thing, Josh, bringing them up through the ranks, which they, from day one, understand processes, um, understand you know building databases, maintaining those databases, and um, obviously building their own profile. But I look at you know when we take other agents on board and dissecting them and looking at where they are, and, and there's there's a few guys within our office. One gentleman who was in, in another agency for twenty years that didn't have a data or had a database but never used it, um, never had an assistant. Um, you know was writing four hundred grand a year, which is good money but now has a database, has an assistant, now writing 850. Now, we, dis- we just dissected everything he was doing and, and you know, was really blunt about it, you know, cut it to pieces and created a great database that he can now maintain, call people regularly, give them market updates, market forecasts, just sold, just listed calls. He's now got a full-time assistant on board, you know, making sure that they're, you know, he's doing the dollar productive stuff and, you know, Already in a year, he's doubled his income. And then, you know, look at you know other other agents who you know another gentleman who's with us now from another agency that um, you know also had a great database, knew what to do, but didn't have the resources as in you know a good brand, good support, you know, good office culture, um, and then you know also putting an assistant on, and again also has doubled their income. So. I suppose it, everyone's different and obviously part of our job as business owners is to help them grow and, and also understand the best processes so they, you know, obviously, you know, get the best out of their, you know, daily work life. And it goes to show the importance of the environment, you know, in setting someone up for success in that, you know, how many times is this that it's a deal support issue where someone comes to you and says, oh, look, Alex, I'm, I'm ringing this particular seller and they're telling me that they're three months off, what do I say? Or I've got this buyer at this point and, you know, the, the negotiations are locked and I'm $50,000 apart, what would you do? How much does that, you know, that deal support and that environment and knowing that you've got someone behind you make a massive difference in the breakthrough with these agents? Well, I look at Josh, even like sometimes when I call you and I'm stuck like you, you lose confidence because you're not sure what to do in certain situations and you know you, you, you're nervous and you will come across to a buyer or seller like that so if you've got someone you can call you can shout out across the office saying Alex what do I do here and and you've got someone to go okay in this scenario this is what I've done these are your two options Th- go ahead with this get on with it and then you obviously have given them you know some confidence through your experience to them actually you know, go back to that vendor or buyer to help you know, get the deal done. One of the big things has been uh, the disciplines that you're seeing, like when an agent actually does start to break through. What's the difference there, like when they're sort of just going along until that point where you, you now start to see them like really gaining some significant traction? Well, I think they, they start to understand what needs to be done, like daily, um, you know, the, the time you need to get in the office, the amount of calls you need to be making, who you need to be calling, why you need to be calling them. Um, it's probably more that they get it. Um, and I think there's a lot of agents out there that don't get it. They don't know why they're doing the calls. They don't know why they're building a database or you know giving market updates. They don't see the long game. Something that was spoken about in List Sell Negotiate yesterday was that long game. They don't understand it. They don't know what you do now can help you in five to 10 years' time. And I think that's their challenge too, is a lot of people might take shortcuts in the very early days. And, you know, like classic example, you're in your buyer and you say, have you found anything yet? And they say, yeah, we did. And you go, oh, okay, great. Well, congratulations and best of luck with that and kind of hang up. Well, no, no, let's find out a little bit more information. Oh, great. Where did you get one? I got one in Bronte. Okay, cool. Did you get the one in Knotts Avenue or Jones Street? Oh, we got the one in Jones. Great spot. You're going to be moving into it or leasing it out. We're going to move in. Congratulations. And by the way, you know, was that the first time you bought in the eastern suburbs or the second? No, no, it was actually our second. Great. So what are your plans with the previous time? And now what's actually starting to happen is, is that you're learning how to build relationship. And even if it was their first time that they've bought, now let's make sure that they do go on the database. Let's make sure we actually put the address in there. So then that way we can bring up those people to give them a call next time someone in our agency actually lists or even sells a property in and around that particular one. And I think that that's the important thing is, is that 
you know, these shortcuts that happen in the early days because you're just a bit lazy or, you know what, <clears throat> I don't really want to enter that in or I don't know how to overcome that objection is actually, you know, a significant barrier to them actually building a significant database that they can multiply off. Josh, what it is is about, you know, agents being really confident about going into a listing. And, and, and so, like, how do they build that skill? Because I know that you've been doing that at the moment with some of your agencies, getting them to present to you. Yeah, what are you seeing happening in that? Um, I think it's about, you know, doing a lot of practice um, and then going out into the field. Um, you know, it, it's understanding different scenarios. Um, you know, we're doing one-on-one leasing appointments with all the agents within my office where, you know, I'm the vendor, they're the agent, and there's four other agents in there dissecting what they're doing which is probably the toughest environment to do a listing in when you've got five people around you that are just going to obviously say this was great this wasn't this is what i would recommend um you know you're very nervous even i was extremely nervous doing it but it's building a better armor around you to be more confident when you go into that next next leasing appointment. And I think that that's the big driver for people is that they hope that confidence is just going to happen one day, but it never happens without the courage first. And so like, like if you've got the commitment to be a great agent, then you've got to start thinking about, well, where are the areas that I don't feel sure about and how do I actually make them strengths? You know, so I don't feel sure about how I close, for example, at the end of the presentation. Well, let's go build some capability about that by, you know, using some notes and writing a summary and reconfirming what I've discussed with the client when I come to that close. With the big breakthroughs that you're seeing with people, um, a lot of it really comes back down to that there's a real lack of mentorship, you know, sitting inside a lot of these firms. And that when people make that decision to come and work with, you know, someone like yourself and inside of your own firm is, is that you're putting a big emphasis on getting that mentorship right. Why are you doing that and, and how is that helping these agents to really split through to be, you know, emerging into becoming dominance in their fields? Because obviously they can learn from someone that's more experienced, has had, um, you know, a lot of different scenarios thrown at them. And, you know, like I think anyone, you know, with anything in life needs mentors to help them get better, bounce any, you know, you know, ideas off to make sure they're doing the right thing and it gives them someone to look up to and know that they've got someone to call on um, if there's a sticky situation and they don't do the wrong thing I think it's you know even I've got mentors you've got mentors it's just something that you need and I think that that's the most dangerous position for any agent and the reason that they might not break through is that they actually stop growing and they stop wanting to learn and they stop wanting to be a real student of the game. And, and I know that, you know, you know, the coach that I was 10 years ago versus what, who I am today, the agent that you were you know, when we first started through to the agent that you are today, you know, the base is always the same. But geez, I tell you what, there's been a lot of development that's gone on. And that actually makes you better in being able to learn how to put a deal together, being better at auction process, learning how to get the sales process nailed so you can be a much, much better agent. <laughs>